Hi everybody, welcome to the second part of the series. And in this part, we'll talk about admin scopes and also custom routes. Um, so custom routes are a way to customize Bolt so that you can um, install your app or have certain um, pages on your app and, and be able to uh, customize that. So let's show you uh, exactly how to do that. So if we go back to the uh, Bolt documentation, so here's adding custom HTTP routes. So basically, uh, there's there's handling for custom HTTP routes um, by passing an array of routes as custom routes when initializing the app. So this is really nice for if you have two different installs of the app, like one maybe the standard install, the second being the admin install of the app. So I'll show you that now. Um, so basically, we have make sure to clone or or uh, check out this branch, um, part two admin scopes, um, and I'll I'll have the com uh, command in the um, YouTube description. So basically, um, you can see here we're on part two admin scopes and the code is gonna look very similar so that we're still using installation store. The only thing we've added in our app is the custom routes and we still have register listeners. We're not gonna worry about that for this tutorial. We're basically only worried about this, um, these basically 20 lines of code. And the main difference you'll see is that this time we're actually grabbing some values from the manifest file itself uh, basically, we're passing in all of these values into our HTML page, so into our custom routes. So before, um, slash slack slash install did all this for us under the hood, uh, but now we'll show you how to like customize it yourself if you need to do this um, in a more um, a more specific manner, I guess. So here's the bot scope. So for the workspace install, we're just going to use the bot scopes, and if we go to our manifest, we'll see that the bot. Um, is is commands here and you know same thing as last time because we're using that slash command. The only difference now is that we have this um, user scope. So this is the admin conversation right scope and any admin scopes need to be installed on the entire organization. So they have a bigger, um, they have more power basically. So they can, you know, delete things. So for example, con admin conversations right deletes channels. So if you, for example, know that you know, you never need this channel anymore, or there was some sen sensitive information in that channel, so we need to delete it. You'll, your app will need to have this scope to be able to do that, and it'll be need to be installed in the org. Um, so that's when um, someone would use that. So again, um, once you've checked out the branch and everything, make sure to do node app, and make sure you've set up your uh, redirect URLs and your ngrok correctly. Um, I'm not gonna cover that. I already covered that in the previous video. And so let's go ahead and try it out. So let's go ahead and go to Slack install and workspace and see what happens. Um, so this is our ngrok. Oh, so we need to start ngrok again. Um, I'll change these really quick. And then we'll need to change this in uh, the Slack API site too. And one thing we'll do here um, for this, for this um, video is we'll actually um, distribute the app to. Um, so now I have activated the public distribution, which is great. And this will let me share your app with other workspaces, which is great. Um, and then the last thing I need to do is actually change my uh, URL, save the changes. Okay, now we should be uh, ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, try this now. Do a slash slack slash install slash, um, was it workspace? And you'll see some custom HTML here. Um, so basically, yeah, this is kind of the custom HTML and that's all in, in the GitHub and you can, you know, customize as you want. You can add prettier HTML, but this is, you know, I just wanted a one liner uh, to help you understand this. So we'll click add to Slack here and it's gonna be, okay, so you can see here um, an example of when the redirect URLs are not configured properly. This, will, this is what happens, like the token exchange doesn't work. Let's try that again. All right, so let's run the app again. I've just set the uh, the correct URLs and let's try this again. Install slash workspace. Again, this looks good to me. I'll click add to Slack and I'll say, hey, you know, uh, I was requesting permission to access this workspace. I'm gonna go back to Horia School, which is fine. I'll click allow and we should see the same thing as before. It'll open Slack. Um, that looks fine to me. So it's installed it as before. You can see um, 
success function and you can see storing the installation in our file system, which is not great for production, but I'll show you how to store these in Mongo securely in the next video. Um, but for now, um, that worked. Um, so let's show you actually the other URL. So you can see I've, I've have my custom routes right here. So I have slash like install slash workspace and it's just um, what it's doing is it's rendering this HTML, which we've defined up here. And then we'll show you, and it's you know nothing fancy, but um, basically the biggest things you need to know is that in this uh, install, it's actually requesting user scopes. So that is why Slack API knows that this needs to be installed on an org is because these user scopes need to be installed on an org. And I'm passing in these user scopes in this um, HTML. So uh, let's do that again. And this time we're gonna go to slash org admin and we'll show you that custom route. So same thing here, slash install slash org admin. Admin install, make sure you install this on an org. I'm um, gonna click here. And at this point, um, if you're signed into a workspace, which is part of a grid organization, so that must be on, on the uh, enterprise plan, it's a paid plan, then you'll have these orgs ready. So you'll click uh, one of your demo orgs and you'll click allow, it will do that now. And, and then you'll basically actually add it to your, uh, add it to your workspace. You'll see, I get an XOXP token, which is a user token. So that is what can be used to call these admin scopes and, um, XOXB is a bot token. So those are really important. And again, this has been stored. Um, and now we can call these, uh, admin APIs using this token specifically. Um, this XOXP token, and that's really important. Um, but if we want, we can do a simple API call. Um, I'll take this whole token. And um, if I want to do an API tester, so I'll go into conversations delete, I'll go into the tester and I'll provide my own token. And then I'll pass in the channel ID. So the channel, which is on my um, uh, grid org. So let me find a channel. Here's a uh, one of the channels on my grid org. So I'll do, uh, I'll just do invite test. So I'll grab this channel ID, how to ch uh, test this out and we can test the method and we see, okay, true. So uh, that should be deleted now. If I go back to Slack. So basically um, that invite test is no longer here. So we see that it was deleted. Um, and yeah, in a nutshell, that's basically how to uh, use custom routes and uh, basically two different installs. One, just the regular install that we learned in the previous videos. And then a second one with extra elevated scopes such as admin scopes so that you can actually delete channels or do some, some more powerful things within Slack. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. And in the next video, we're gonna show you how to store credentials in um, a Mongo database in a more secure manner. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.